I'm just happy um, that I, I could, you know, get on live and talk to my fans. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want y'all to know that, you know, I love y'all. <laughs> and um, I'm just happy to be alive, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. If you guys haven't heard, Takashi was beaten and robbed early this morning. Now, there's some conflicting stories as to exactly what happened. TMZ originally reported that Takashi was kidnapped, pistol whipped, and robbed. He was in the hospital. There's you know, a picture of that that's floating around. And the original story was that around 4 a.m., Takashi was out working on a music video for his song Fifi with Nicki Minaj. Another car pulled up, blocked his driveway. Three hooded gunmen got out of the car, grabbed Takashi, and pistol whipped him, knocking him out unconscious. And then apparently Takashi was in the back of this car, they were driving around, and they were saying if they didn't get what they wanted from him, it was not gonna end well. So they wanted the jewelry, the money. Apparently they got around $750,000 worth of jewelry, and anywhere from fifteen dollars to $20,000 in cash. And apparently at some point Takashi was able to hop out the back seat of the car, jump out, and then get into the passenger seat of just some random dude on the street. Imagine having Takashi just uh, randomly appear in your passenger Seat. I can't imagine what the dude in that car was thinking. That would have been terrifying. But anyways, Takashi hops in some random dude's car. And I guess that guy helps Takashi out, whether they call the police or call an ambulance, whatever the situation was. Takashi ends up going to the hospital. That was the original story that TMZ reported. But TMZ ended up updating their article saying that Takashi actually told a different story to the cops. Now, what he told the cops was that around 4 a.m., so around the same time, he was in a Chevy Tahoe in the passenger seat at an intersection at a red light. A car bumped into him from behind. Two Two dudes jumped out, stole the driver's iPhone, grabbed Takashi, dragged him into the car, and sped away. And then apparently they drove to Takashi's house. He called someone inside, told them to come out with the jewelry, which she did. And then Takashi told the cops that he managed to escape, reported the incident to the cops, and then hasn't been very cooperative. And then he ended up taking himself to the hospital. So those are two kind of a little bit conflicting stories, but regardless, it looks like some wild stuff has happened to Takashi. And as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, Takashi went onto Instagram Live just a few minutes minutes ago and just kind of addressed everything he didn't really you know say anything too much he just said that he's you know happy that he's alive and glad that nothing else you know happened to him too crazy you know I mean obviously this is a, a pretty bad situation but at least he's alive now there's been other rumors and stuff going around just online in general because Takashi is a hard person to believe he does way too much trolling he messes around way too much online he just had that song with Nicki Minaj drop last night music video is supposed to be coming out for it I don't think it's out yet so a lot of people think that this whole thing could just be staged and completely fake honestly like i don't know what to believe like i actually thought that it could be fake as well just because takashi is he trolls way too much like you don't know when to take him serious but this is like a super serious situation so i mean if he faked this that that's kind of going over the line a little bit i don't know but that's what the story is right now we'll kind of see how this goes let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments and i'll catch you guys later peace out